Women held very important jobs during the Civil War. They organized events to collect medical aid, reading material, and food for soldiers on the battlefield. Many women found themselves running farms and small businesses as their husbands and fathers left for the war. Women also went to work in factories. Women were nurses in Civil War battlefield hospitals. Most notably, Clara Barton was a nurse who went on to found the American Red Cross. Just like men, women wanted to serve but were forbidden from enlisting in both the Union and Confederate armies. But this didn't stop some from doing it. Florina Budwin and her husband enlisted in the Union Army together and fought side by side in battle. Both were caught by Confederate forces and sent to the prison camp Andersonville in Georgia. Sarah Edmonds enlisted as a private in the 2nd Michigan Infantry under the name Franklin Thompson in 1861. She fought alongside male soldiers until she came down with malaria and deserted to avoid being hospitalized where she believed she would be discovered as a woman. Edmonds, years after the war, received a government pension acknowledging her military service as a female soldier who served as a private, rendering faithful service in the ranks. The exact number of women who enlisted disguised as men is unknown, but records show that women fought in almost every major battle of the Civil War on both the Confederate and Union sides. Additionally, women on both sides of the war acted as spies. Elizabeth Van Loo, a strong anti-slavery advocate living in Richmond, Virginia, spied on Confederates and passed the information to Union General Grant using couriers. Pauline Cushman, an actress, posed as someone who believed in the Confederate cause in Kentucky and then Tennessee. Cushman was able to gather intel from Confederate soldiers and also saved Union soldiers from being poisoned by a Confederate Kentucky boarding house owner. In Tennessee, Cushman, acting as a woman looking for her missing brother, gathered intel inside Confederate camps before being caught and tried as a spy. Abolitionist Harriet Tubman also spied behind Confederate lines during the war, which led to the freeing of over 700 enslaved people in South Carolina. She was later commended for her efforts. Isabella Bell Boyd and Antonia Ford Willard were both spies for the Confederacy and tried to help their side gain an advantage. It's fair to say that women felt the call to fight for or support their respective sides in many ways. They faced the possibility of imprisonment, violence, or even death to do so.